Okay? There is another one. Past way to build a tea table. For example, this one here. Okay? Um, left tail probability, right tail probability. This is what? For this number here. Huh? Upper tail is 2.5%. Here, the left tail is 2.5%. Now, in our example, what's the degree of freedom? Nu is sample size minus 1. We have 6 meter manager, 6 minus 1, so the degree of freedom is 5. Nu is 5. And we look for 95% confidence level. So look at here. This is the way we build the 95% confidence level. This is the uh, upper bound, this is the lower bound of the 95% confidence level. The middle shady area is 95%. That means the upper tier is 2.5%, the lower is what? 2.5%. Okay? So 2.5% at 95% at 2.5% and up to 100%. Can you see that? But we want to be a what? 95%. So we need to determine the upper bound and lower bound. Let's look at the upper bound first. Look at this number first, okay? This number, to its what? To its left tail. From here up to here, should be what? Huh? This is 95% in the middle. And plus this 2.5%. So from here, all the way up to infinity, negative infinity. This one should have what? 0 0.975 huh? area. Or, or you say 97.5% area. And this point to what? To its right. The right tail is only what? 2.5%. Are you with me? This is the way how the table is built. Okay? So you look at here, we want to find out what is this number here, right? This is from here up to negative infinity, cover 97.5%. That's what we call the left tail, right? And the corresponding right tail from this and forward only cover up 2.5%. So this is the column we are looking at. So we move down. Intercept with degree of freedom equal to five. Huh? Five degree of freedom. And left tail is 0 0.975. So the given what? Critical value or t table t value is, is what? 2.571. Okay? 